YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy, Nate Just Dope, back with another video in JD Nation. What's up with it, man? As y'all can tell by the title, yes, finally, a lot of y'all been asking, man, so I will do it for y'all. But first, let's go ahead and get into this comment shout out, man. So this comment is from Afro King Curry Curry. And he says, love the vids, bro. And can I get a shout out, please? Yes, bro. Shout out to you, man. Now, with that being said, a lot of y'all been asking, man. The streets been calling me, man. They've been saying, bro, you need to go ahead and do a sneaker collection video, bro. <clears throat> uh, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Cut, cut. But yeah, man, like I said, the streets been calling, man. The YouTube streets been calling, man. They said, bro, you need to go ahead and do a sneaker collection video. And I'm kind of overdue for it because I wanted to do like a year update, you know what I'm saying, on the exact date that I dropped the uh, sneaker collection last year. But I wanted to wait till I get a camera so um, I can have better quality on the sneakers, man. But uh, yeah, man, it's finally here, man. So uh, I'm not going to do too much talking, man. So I'm going to go ahead and set up over here and we're going to get right to it, man. So let's go. Now my collection has changed over the years since y'all seen it, man. I sold a lot of sneakers, bought a lot of sneakers, kind of like slowed down, you know what I'm saying, these past couple of months. So y'all gonna see a big change from that video to now. So if y'all wanna pause the video right now and check out that video first, y'all can check it out, you know what I'm saying. Link will be down in the description below. I'll leave like a little annotation up at the top, man. But yeah, uh, let me go ahead and get these things out and we gonna get right to it, bro. So let's go. This will probably be the most hated part of this video for me because I got to do all of this. Look at that. Look at all that back there. I got to take all of this out for y'all. <sighs> I'm literally halfway done. I just, I only have my Jordans out. I still didn't get all the Nikes out. Um, this is probably a bad idea. Yo, oh, she on my head, she want my digits. Jogging and finessing and my trigger of finger itching. All I need is money, man, I wanna. All right, and I'm back, man. Um, So, don't mind that in the background. I was gonna use that, but it wasn't giving me the angle that I wanted. So I kind of wanted this type of angle. So I was kind of like going back and forth on how I wanted to do this video. I was gonna do like a real, like just going, you know what I'm saying, showing over the shoes and talking about them like that. But I kind of just did it like this because this is a great setup right now. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start with, of course, the nine heat first. Well, not nine heat, but you know what I'm saying, the quote unquote nine heat, you know what I'm saying? The stuff that people really don't really care for, the stuff that nobody's here for, you know what I'm saying? Besides that in the background, y'all see all that. But um, yeah, so with that being said, first shoe, of course, Chuck Taylors, you know what I'm saying? These were my high school shoes, bro. As y'all can see, these are like, beat, they ain't even navy blue no more. They are like, almost gray down here, you know what I'm saying? But. As y'all see the soles, I used to wear these shoes out, bruh, in high school, bruh. I still got them. Uh, these are kind of new, you know what I'm saying? I got these like two years ago, but I, I don't really wear them like that. But, yeah, Chucks. Can never go wrong with Chucks. Chuck gang. Sorry, Vans. Next, uh, I'm going to kind of like skim through this because it's a lot. So, next is the Adidas All-Stars, of course. Y'all probably can't see that because, hold on, let me see. All right, so, yeah, Adidas Superstars can never go wrong. These are actually too big. These are 12. I need 11 and a half. So I might be giving these away to my little cousins because they growing up too fast and they almost at my size. Um, like I said, my my collection did change over the the year, I should say, because a lot of shoes that was in my last video are not in this video. So if y'all notice anything missing, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all point it out to me. So next, in the world of New Balance, I still have these. I don't really wear them though, but these are very comfortable. The New Balance 1300s, uh, very comfortable. Very dope colorway in my opinion, man. Very, very nice. Next, I've been trying to get rid of these, uh, but a lot of people don't want them. So 
It's probably like a sign, you know what I'm saying? The Reebok questions. Uh, Ghost of Christmas Future, I believe. So, yeah, these are very dope. I don't wear them though, so if y'all want these, let me know. They're going for the low bars. Man, sit your ass down. All right, so next is the Nike collection. So, first, the Nike Air Max Ones. These are just some regular outlet um, Air Max that I got at the outlet, bro. Real cheap. Wanted to pick them up. Did y'all ever get that feeling of just when you go out somewhere, you just want to spend some money? No matter what it is, this is that the impulse buy. These are the same way. Uh, Nike Air Max 180s. Same thing. Outlet pickup. Had the money. I seen them. I wanted to cop them because I ain't seen nothing else. So, yeah. The Nike Air Force uh, 180s. David Robinson. If y'all know who David Robinson is, y'all some uh, young cats. You know what I'm saying? Old heads only, you feel me? But yeah, these are his shoes, man. I don't really wear these anymore. I'm trying to sell them, so if y'all want these, if y'all interested in these, let me know. These are size 12. I'm acting like this is a um, for sale video, which is kind of is because these first couple of sneakers I'm trying to sell, real talk, so if y'all want them, let me know. But yes, next, the CB34s, the Air Max. Uh, versions. These are the MX twos. Charles Barkley's. These are the Philadelphia 76s colorway. Speaking of Charles Barkley, y'all know what these things is. I am not selling these. The Air Force 180 Charles Barkley Olympic colorway. These are so dope. These are one of my grails. Finally, finally caught them and glad I have them in my collection. I'm trying to decide if I should go down this way or that way. That way, you did. Next are the Nike Air Max. Try that again, try that again. Nike Air Max 90s, infrared colorway. These are so dope, bro. I got these uh, when I struck out on the Chicago ones last, no, 2015. Um, very glad with this purchase, man. As y'all see, these are like, not beat, but you can tell I wear these a lot, bro. Y'all y'all don't see these a lot on my feet, but trust me, they get worn a lot. The Nike Air Nomos, Nike Air Nomos, yeah. The Cardinal colorway. You know what I'm saying these are very dope. These are actually, these are actually very, very near and dear to me. Um, if y'all want to know why, I do like a story time on these. Oh, it just got real dark in here. The clouds are working today. Um, they're on their job. But anyway, uh, these are very near and dear to me. If y'all want to know why, I'll do a story time on these. Uh, yeah. If you're from Atlanta, y'all, y'all already know what's up. Y'all already know what the, what the deal is with these, man. These are the Nike Air Force. Ones. I was about to say Air Max, but Air Force Ones, bro. All white things, bro. These are very old, though. These are like 2009. Yeah, 2009, but I still keep these fresh and clean. Just in case I want to throw on a fresh white tee and walk out, step out on the scene, looking real mean. You know what I'm saying? Feeling real clean. Let me stop, let me stop. There's too much heat for y'all, bro. Boy, if you don't get... Let me stay coming soon. I don't know what's going on, hey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staying with the Air Force Ones, we have the Wheat Air Force Ones, the Flex colorway. These are like the Tims in Atlanta. Did so, yeah. Definitely glad they restocked on these last year. I caught these last year on the surprise restock at Foot Locker, I believe. Yeah, Foot Locker. Next are my Nike Air Max 95s. These are the. Uh, 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 uh. obsidian colorway if y'all from my old channel y'all seen these man these were like some og sneaker pickups back in 2012 man so yeah next we have the air jordan one rolls no i'm just playing these <laughs> these are the nike sbs uh the, the jpac royal pack so these were made after the royal ones but these aren't royal ones every time i wear these people be like, yo, those Royal Ones, you know, I buy them off of right now. I'd be like, nah, these ain't no Royal Ones. These some SBs, but shh, don't tell nobody. All right, I almost forgot these were over here, so let me go ahead and get these out of the way. These are in boxes, so these are the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2's Clay Blue colorway. If y'all want these, these are for sale. That's why they're in the box. Um, DM me. And the Nike Diamond Turf 2's. Deion Sanders, if y'all know who Deion Sanders is, if y'all don't know who he is, y'all some young cats, man. But uh, yeah, I'm actually selling these today, actually. So 
Say bye bye. Bye bye. All right, and the last Nike shoe is the Nike Air Tech Challenge Twos in the hot lava colorway. Andre Agassi, OG colorway, man. These are so dope, bro. But I might be selling these, so if y'all want these, let me know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, and now time for what everybody's been waiting for. I'm sure the reason why you click on this video is for this particular brand that is Jordan brand bars. All right, so first Jordan, just get out of the way. These are a hybrid. These are the um, Jordan Spizike infrareds. Yeah, infrared colorway. These are one of the dopest, the dopest non-numbered Jordans that I like. You know what I'm saying? Spizike's the dopest as, as heck. I was about to cuss. Watch your profanity. But yeah, these are so dope, bro, but these may be going away because they're in the box and say bye-bye. Bye. All right, so I have more Jordan ones than anything, so I'm going to get this out of the way real quick. If y'all don't know, I love Jordan ones. I'm a Jordan one fiend now. So um, if y'all have any Jordan ones for sale, um, fragments, shadow backboards, OGs, um, shadows, hit me up. I would gladly take them off your hands. But anyway, these are one of my favorite Jordan ones. These are the Olympic. Jordan 1 mids, man. A lot of people don't know about these, but these came out back in 2012 alongside the Air Jordan 6 Olympics, and these were very slept on. So I really like these, so that's why I caught them, man. Very dope. Next are a very special pair of Jordan 1s. These are the Cyber Monday 1s, but these are very special because I caught these at Flight Club in New York City last year, man. So these are my very and only Flight Club pickup from the actual store. Next, one of my favorite uh, pickups of this year so far, the Air Jordan 1 All-Stars. These are very, very dope. A lot of people don't like these because of the creasing on the toe box, but I love the creasing on the toe box, bro. And plus, they're turning yellow, and I love yellow. And if y'all know me, I love yellow because it shows character and growth. And yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about now, so let's go. All right, next, the Air Jordan 1 Mellows. Uh, a lot of people don't like this shoe because, like I said, with the All-Stars, the toe box creasing, they don't really like the quality of that material, but I love these, man. Um, these are never leaving my collection. They left once, but now they are never leaving again. The Air Jordan 1 Clovers, very, very dope colorway. These are very slept on. A lot of people been trying to cop these, again, because they've been saying these are very special Jordan 1's, so I'm glad I have mine, you know what I'm saying? These ain't leaving my collection. All right, so these are the last non-OG colorway Jordan 1's in my collection, and then we're gonna hit the OG colorways. So these are the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboards, Away, um, Reverse, whatever you wanna call them. I don't have my OG's anymore. I know, I know, I know, I know. It hurts me to say that, bro. Let me take a moment, bro. Let me just take a moment. I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. Oh my God, do it on my knee. Oh my God, But yes, if y'all want to know what happened to those, all I'm going to say is shout out to Reggie. Shout out to Reggie. The plug. That's all that needs to be said. Carolina Blue Jordan 1s. Very, very dope shoe, man. I got these off of luck, bro. Very glad to have these, man. These are not leaving my collection. The Air Jordan 1 Black Toes. These are literally my favorite Jordan 1s to wear because they're so dope, you know what I'm saying? You can wear them with anything. As y'all can see, the toe box creature is crazy on this, bro. I be wearing these a lot. The Air Jordan 1 Royals, my favorite, my top pickup of this year. The Air Jordan 1 Breads. Yes, I have two pair, man. Two pair, can't go wrong with brands, bro. Next, the Air Jordan 3s. If y'all know me, the Air Jordan 3s are my favorite Jordan silhouette, favorite sneaker silhouette in this world, you know what I'm saying? So, now I don't have a lot because I sold most of them because they got too small for me. So, I'm a size 12 now, I had size 11s, you know what I'm saying, except for one. The first ones are the Air Jordan 3 True Blues. Very dope colorway, a lot of people slept on these. Of course I did, because I love threes, man. Like, look at these, these are so sexy. So sexy. I may just double up on these later on. You know what I'm saying? And of course, my favorite shoe in my collection. If I had to sell all these in here, these babies stand. The Air Jordan 3 Black Cements, bro. These are supposed to be dropping next year in February, so I will be doubling up. I will. I stand by that. 
Remember this moment in this video, I will be doubling up on these. When Nike on the back, what? Oh yes, bro. Next, the Air Jordan 4 white cements. I don't have a lot of fours. Well, these are my only pair of fours because, again, my shoe, my, my shoe, my feet grew over time and I couldn't hold on to them. So, yeah, but these are one of my favorite Jordan 4s. Bread folds need to drop next year, man. I'm saying that right now. Need to drop next year. Next, the metallic files, man. The black metallic files with the OG treatment, man. Yes, very dope, man. These were a definite cop for me, man. A lot of people slept on these. I did. Next, the Air Jordan 5 grapes, man. A lot of people don't have these anymore. I remember when these dropped back in 2013. People was going crazy for these. Then they wore them out, you know what I'm saying? Dirty, busty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, four years later. I still got mine. A little bit of yellow one, but not too bad. Next, the Air Jordan 6s. These are my second favorite Jordan silhouette out of all of them. Um, now, I used to have a whole bunch of 6s, just like my Air Jordan 1s, but I sold most of them, sadly. So first, we have the Maroon 6s, bro. These were one of the most anticipated releases of last... Of 2015, my bad. Of 2015, but when they came out, they sat on shelves. I caught mine ASAP, we did, so... Yeah. Next, the Air Jordan 6 Carmines. Just like the Great Fives, a lot of people wore these out, but I kept mine really nice, you know what I'm saying? Um, a couple of years later, well, three years later, and I still have mine. Still not yellowing that bad. And my favorite Jordan 6 out of all of them, the Air Jordan 6 Varsity Red or Infrared. These are Varsity Red though, but either way, if they Infrared, Varsity Red, I don't care. These are very dope. These are the 2010 version. These break a lot of necks, bro. A lot of necks. Next, the Air Jordan 7s. I don't have a lot of Jordan 7s, just like my 6s. I sold most of them, but these I kept. The Air Jordan 7, DMP slash Raptors 2009, whatever you want to call them. These are very dope. Like the 6s, these break a lot of necks, bro. A lot of people don't know about these, but I still have mine. And they're never leaving my collection. Now we're getting down to the wire, man. The last two, I don't have any eights anymore. I sold my Chrome eights and my Aqua eights. I don't have my Cool Gray nines anymore. What? I know, I know, I know, I know. That hurt me to say. Of course, I don't have any tens anymore, cause the only tens I had was those Chicago's, and I sold those a long time ago. And so yeah, we're just gonna skip right over to the Elevens and Twelves. I sold my. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I sold my Flint 13s, but hopefully they come out at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year of next year. So, enjoy the brand if you're watching this, please. Flint 13s, release them. Release them. So, of course, we have my only pair of Jordan 11s, but my favorite Jordan 11s, the Space Jam 11s. These are 2009 version, bro. I didn't cop the 2016. But yeah, my favorite Jordan 11, these are my third favorite Jordan silhouette out of all of them. I do plan on copying those uh, all red 11s and those uh, navy 11s because those are very dope. And they come out around the same time as my birthday, so yeah. And last but not least, um, my only pair of Jordan 12s, I sold my French blues. Man, I sold a lot of stuff this year, bro. Um, my collection is very small compared to last year. If y'all know me, these are my favorite Jordan 12s out of all of them, and I still have them. They are the Air Jordan 12 Flint Grays. I heard they're supposed to be retro in these soon. Um, so if they do drop them, I will be doubling up. Well, maybe, I don't know. I ain't gonna double up on them. I'm just cop the new pair because these, these are still good. You know what I'm saying? 12s are like tanks, bro. They don't really break or get busted that bad so these are still looking pretty much brand new just gotta clean them up a little bit all right so i hope y'all enjoyed that video like i said if y'all watched the video from last year and y'all noticed a lot of shoes that was missing the reason why is because <laughs> that what y'all in right now but anyway that's besides the point so i will get back into the rhythm of buying sneakers again because the holiday season is coming up and the holiday season a lot of a lot of heat drops around that time so i have a lot of shoes on my list to cop in the holiday season and plus my birthday is around this time man so um shout out to all the sagittarius bro out there you did you know what i'm saying that way that way. you know i'm just playing but yeah so if you're new and you like what you see go down and hit the subscribe button and once you do that hit the bell so i can be notified when i drop new videos because they will drop randomly like i always say 
Good Vibes Only hats and tees are available, still available. Go follow the Instagram for updates and pictures and announcements and stuff. So yeah, and follow the Twitter too, man. I'm trying to get up on the Twitter. So yeah, with that being said, it's your boy, Nate Just Dope, signing out. Deuces.